Hello YouTube, this is Team Ubermensch here, I'm Ben, and we're going to get uh, Brian's deck profile on his uh, Bluish Flame Liberators. Yes, we're going to be doing them again, sorry guys about the terrible video quality, um, we'll be going to be redoing it, and if you saw the original one, I did change the grade 1 ratio, and I made one card go up high, um, I, I changed the card ra um, rarity, but I'll be later on. Um, starter is still the same that I played back in back in the day. I play one um, Liberator Guido. If you don't know what he does. Um, he's like another um, Spring Breeze, but better. You don't have to Candle Blast. When you're in Legion, put him into Soul, check your top three, and call units in standing. So it helps tutor for your main wing condition, which is Glare. Grade threes. I still play the same. I play four Percival. I'm not playing core in my build. I like Percival because. He combos really well with Lawful to get a whole field, and he doesn't counter blast. He's all got Bluish Flame in his, in his name. Um, if you don't know what he does, when you perform Legion, check the top four cards and call one Liberator from among them. That's not bad. Grade threes. I play four Prominence Glares. One is SP. Love the SP one. Um, He's your main. He's your main win condition of the deck. Um, when you're in Legion, Candle Blast one. Whenever a unit's top called, discard one one bluest flame from your hand. So either um, Percival or Glare from your hand. Your Vanguard gains a new skill. He gains a crit. Your opponent can only guard him with Great Zeros. And you can stack that. You can stack it. You, you can, can It would stack the crit. It would stack the crit. And they can't guard with um. Perfect guards. They they can't guard with ones or higher multiple times if you stack it. The, I, that's a dream. That is a dream. But no, that's not that's not what happens. But you can keep stacking the crit on him. If you know their opponent is pretty um hands pretty bad, you can just pitch all these great threes and just kill them that one turn. Yep. And it's not that hard to pump them up with Bruno and like other cards. We'll get on to later. And his other skill is just to help tutor for his other for his main his main uh, wing condition, counter blast one. You kill one of your units and you check the top four and you call one unit from one and put the other three in the bottom. Grade um, twos, I play four of prominence um, of, of Percival's mate, um, Aglovale. Oh, so Aglovale. You don't know what he does? He's one of the best grade two rush card decks until Sword Me came out. But he's still just as good. Um, he's counter blast one, check the top three and call one unit. Put the others in the bottom. So he's really good. He, he's really good. He helps establish a board. And if you can do him, if you top call him with um, Percival, oh my god. You can just make so much of a board. I played three copies of Glare's Mate. Only three? Three. Because there's, there's some new toys that I'm playing. Uh, I'm playing three Liber um, Liberator Regulation Agro Veil. Uh, when this unit's top called, Soul Blast 1, Soul Blast anything, it can, it can be even a non Liberator if you run any non Liberators. Um, check the top five, and if you see a blue slim from among them, uh, add one of them. He tutors for your grade threes. Yeah. He's just like what he the mate. He's what the mate. The mate for every deck should be. He should be tutoring for your. your yeah, but he has to be called from the deck. Yes, he has to be called from the deck. Yeah, which is not that hard in this deck. I play two lawful trumpeters. Card's stupid. I love this. Card. Kill it if you see it. If you see it, but most players usually keep it in hand and just wait to call it when they can perform Legion with either... But not all players know what they're doing. Not all players That's know what they're doing. That's the secret. Um, back when I taught with ARG, the combo that won me most of my games was just this combo right here. I drew him, I had two copies of it. Free field. Me. I got a whole field for free. And then you have a Bruno behind the Vanguard. And... It just, it was just ridiculous. I love Lawful. Just Legion, and you check the top three and you call a unit. And sometimes when you only have one counter blast, just ride him, Legion, and then you get a skill off right there. Yep. Saves you some counter blast right there, in case a starter dies. And finally, oh my god, this guard is so ridiculous. This guy's new. He's really new. Um, his skill is this, when, a, when he's on rear guard, and a unit's top call, he gains a new skill. He gains 2k power, and um, when he hits, he unflips the damage. By the way guys, it stacks. So if you say you've top called 5 cards, he gains 10k power, and, he, and if he hits, he unflips 5 damage. That's cute. I love this card because this card pretty much means my opponent will guard this as early as possible. Which I want them to start wasting their 10k's early. Um, I still play 4 of the Liberator Perfect Guards, 2 of these. That's the play. That's the play. Two marks and two of the bluest flame ones. Um, you can play the new unflip perfect guards. Um, they're not. They're not bluish flame they're ones. They're not bluish. By flame, the way, they're not liberators, but you don't special counter blast. 
But the main thing reason why I don't play them is because Laurel and the end. I don't want them to hit. I don't yeah. Want to you don't counterblast that much in this deck. You don't, but you want to save them. I play three of the one of the best grade ones. He's so free. Joseph is when he's top called, soul blast, one liberator, draw a card. It's not that hard to get him off when you have Agle Veil to get him off early and you have uh, Glare and your starter. You're kind of it's upsetting if you draw him though. I, I don't mind. I just ride him or just Legion, Legion yeah. them back. In case you don't have triggers, there's some there's a card that you want to Legion back. Um, three no, Bruno. No. Um, he's like the one of the best boosters in the game next to like Doreen. And he's like an almost as good Doreen. But the best thing about him, he's 7k. Yeah. He's a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boosters. But um, for every unit that's top called, he gains 3k power. Yeah. As long as your Vanguard's Liberator, which, which everything here is Liberator. Yep. I play two um, Zorons to help, like, when he's top called, put him into your soul, take the top three and call you. It bumps Bruno up really bumps big. Bumps Bruno into really big. Or in case you things. already have a bunch of grade ones on board, you can, and if you have to top call him from, like, sometimes, if you notice is that you see trigger, trigger, something good. Every single time. So pretty much, he's there, and I'm like, okay, I didn't get what I want. Let's give this another try. And then two stride enablers, because I, like, nice. I like striding. And some and this is and this is a deck where you don't want to pitch your grade threes to stride. Because you want to save them for glare skill. So having a stride enabler really helps. Uh, triggers, I played only three stands. You only need really three. I only play for its um, for its ability. It's nice when you get do get it do get some um, stand ability off. Um, but the skill is when this unit's top called. Check the top three. Um, put this in the bottom of your deck. Check the top three and call one unit from among them. It's the same as a. Uh, it's almost it's, the same as Zoro. Zoron. 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 But the best thing about him, he goes back into my deck, so I have another chance of getting this stand trigger off when I drive check. But if you and, shuffle, and it, and it shuffles. Oh, it, it shuffles. shuffles. It that's shuffles. really good. Yeah. After you top call and put the units back in the bottom, you shuffle. So that's what makes this stand trigger stand out compared to the other triggers. This is probably one of the best stand triggers that's come out in a while. Like, this card makes you want to play stands. I mean, there have been a lot of good stands coming There's out There have been lately. a lot of good stands, but it all started when this stand came out. Cat's Call. I play... I play... Nine crits. Um, Gold Paladins have now reached the days that they cannot play draw triggers anymore. They'll deck out too fast. Gold Paladins is a deck that can just bring out a board so fast from their deck that the only thing left from the deck will be triggers and a couple, like, rear guards. So that's why you can play draw trigger. So I, and not only that, I want to utilize glare skill as more devastating at early. So I want to hit my crits as early. Um, I play four flame of victories. Um, skill list, put into your soul. Give a unit plus 3k power in case you want to pump up glare. Um, what Epona? Because it's a girl and it's Epona. And then is fun, it a girl? Yeah, it is. Epona is a girl. It is a girl, guys. We had to confirm this. Okay. And then four of this, oh my god, this crit trigger, it's so stupid. Uh, when she's top called from, from deck, put her in the bottom of the deck, check the top four cards, and if you see a bluish flame, add it to hand. It's just more ways to search out the grade threes. More ways to just get the grade threes. Honestly, I like what Bushy Road is doing. They're giving crits from subclans now abilities. It's, it's, it's cute. Like, it's been It's really not nice. as good as the Maelstrom one, though. It's not, uh, yeah, it's debatable, because this thing is live early game. And then finally, four heal triggers. You know, the best heal trigger. The one from the bluest flame trial deck. The, the pretty one. You should yeah. only be playing this Also, if you don't run four heals, you're bad. Yeah. It's important to say every video. Strides. I play um, three Campbells. Um, standard and most um, go powder decks, you play Campbell. Everybody loves chicken noodle soup. I love my soup. Um, when, he's t when he hits... Check the top five, call a unit, call a gold pattern unit from among them, and that unit gains 2k power. So you can do some really ridiculous plays if you have Cat's Call, he hits, or with this guy. Like, you can do a lot of ridiculous plays when he hits. And since you check the top five, you have a more consistent way of getting something good. And now that my triggers have abilities, now I have more chances of getting something off. Um, I play three Scourge Points. Um, the, one of the new stars that came out from Fire's Collection. Um, his skill is this, when a unit's top cult, that unit and him gains 5k power. So, you can combo him off really He kind of looks like a deleter. Uh, somewhat. But he can combo really well with either Cat's Call or with Zoran. 
So say you didn't get anything good. Zoran, skill put into the soul. 5k, 5k. Check again. Oh, cat's call. 5k, 5k. Put him. Check again. I called. Say I called. Uh, Aglovel. He gained 5k. He gained 5k. Can I boss one? To the top. Set the top three. Uh, top call. 5k, 5k. So pretty much he gained 20k power by himself. So right now he's 46 unboosted. If your opponent doesn't have a perfect guard, it's pretty. That's a pretty frightening combo right there. I really like this card. He's a lot of people are not playing him, and um, reason why I don't play the another another stride is because you're really it's kind of blast heavy, and this card is just pretty free. And finally, the card I was telling you about that was kind of blast heavy. Um, two spear cross dragons. I actually do like this card, but he works much better in my Azul deck profile. That you guys saw before. His skill is this, when you stride on him immediately, um, when he's on Vanguard Circle, Cannon Blast 2, flip a copy of himself face up for every face up card in your G zone, check the top 5, and you can call cards equal to the number of cards you have face up in your G zone. Why don't you run any uh, Madu? Madu? Because if you were in Legion, uh, you could stride with a bluish flame and then I, just add it back to hand. You can do Madu instead of running 3 Skirts points, but... This deck is so fast that I don't want to wait one turn on Madu and just be vanilla. I like to pressure my opponent a lot faster. And I have so many ways to getting my grade um, getting my grade three hand via the crit and um All right, right, and, the crit searches. And Aglovale. So I have plenty of ways of getting off. I like getting rid of my opponent's hand as quickly as possible and getting my field Sense. faster. And just getting rid of triggers from my um get rid no, getting rid of rear guards from my deck. But you can play one Madu. I do recommend playing one Madu. You can just take out one skirts once. I don't recommend Campbell because Campbell can get you a field when when against our comic is brawlers. Brawlers um, hurt. It's not a bad matchup, but it's like you don't want to top call the whole field again because sometimes by the time you hit mid to late game, when you take the top five or check top three, you're gonna see a lot of triggers. As an Aqua Force player, I can attest to brawlers like annoyingness, I guess. All right, guys, that's T Boomerman here, and we're gonna be signing off. Thank you, guys. See you. Bye, YouTube.